This is Rapid Fire TV, and I'm going to show you how to replace an ignition coil. Ford ignition coils are known to burn out. This problem affects the Ford Expedition, F-150, Explorer, Mustang GT, and many others with the same Ford V8 engine. The engine code could be P030, followed by the last number of the cylinder affected. You could have multiple cylinders go out. Oftentimes, you also get another engine code, and this will be P0316, which is a misfire at startup, and could also be caused by ignition coil. And here's our vehicle. It's a 2003 Ford Expedition. Our car has a check engine light on, it idles really rough, and the acceleration is rough too. Most likely our problem is the ignition coil, but spark plugs could also go out. Be very careful with these spark plugs as they can break off in the engine block. You may want to try to replace the ignition coil first. If that doesn't fix it, take it to the dealer for a tune-up. Or research online and understand the challenges of this engine spark plugs first. Okay, so I've turned the key in the ignition and I'm going to use my code reader. It's an Innova 3120. I like it because it does both OBD1 and OBD2 vehicles. Check out the link below if you're interested in buying. So I'm getting error codes P0307, which means cylinder number seven has a problem. I'm also getting engine code P0316, which is probably also caused by ignition coil. So I've gone to my local parts store and this one ignition coil costs $61. I'm gonna need a stool for a little more reach here. First, you'll need to remove the engine cover. There are two 11 millimeter bolts on this car. And go ahead and pull off the engine cover. I made a diagram so you can see how the cylinders are numbered. This is going to be difficult to see because Ford has put a lot of equipment on top of the ignition coils. This is how the ignition coil is mounted. So locate the top part of the ignition coils and use a diagram to find out which cylinder you'll need to replace. And there's the top part of the ignition coil. And there's a 7mm bolt. So you're going to need a 7mm socket wrench with a universal joint to unscrew the single bolt holding it in place. Locate the electrical socket and press a button on the bottom of the socket to really release it. And go ahead and pull out the ignition coil. You're going to need to use dielectric insulating grease on both sides of the ignition coil to prevent corrosion. and go ahead and place your new ignition coil into the engine block. You won't feel a click like normal spark plug boots, so just press with a bit of pressure and the bolt will tighten it the rest of the way. And then go ahead and press the electrical connector until it snaps into place. And then go ahead and reinstall the bolt. and reconnect any hoses you may have disconnected. Place the engine cover back on and install the bolts. Next, you'll need to reconnect your engine code reader and make sure there aren't any new codes. These are the same two codes I had before, so next I'm gonna go ahead and clear the engine codes. And you'll get this screen when there are no new engine codes. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine, and hopefully the check engine light is off. I can already tell this car idle is so much smoother, and it made a big difference. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and remember, this is something you can do yourself. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.